Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at some of the AI video stuff I used in my recent music video for Welcome to the Metaverse. Specifically today we're going to be looking at how to take a still image from Mid Journey into Runway ML and use that to animate the video. All right, let's dive into it. As you can see, I've, I've got some here that I've been doing some test ones with. We're going to start with one kind of just give it some vague prompt of like the metaverse like this one um, but we wanted a, a 16.9 image so how mid journey works you have to type slash imagine if I can spell it and then it gives you space for your prompt and you put in what your prompt is same with in runway ml every comma separates different prompt commands so I've often found that with uh, mid journey it's good to be a bit more vague and then kind of let the AI do what it wants. Because when you try to be too specific, it's really hard to get exactly what you want. So we're going to go with just the metaverse again and see what we get. Um, but I am going to do this little thing here, uh, which allows me to get it to be 16.9. So that is the aspect ratio command, and then 16.9 because we want it for video. And this is what I was talking about before, how it like does those layers of noise and diffuses it. So you can see as it's like kind of going through here, it does a passive noise, picks the pixels it likes, and sort of like eventually diffuses the image out of the original prompt and sort of what it thinks would work for like a metaverse look. So these are all quite weird and interesting, but I don't think they really suit um, the same sort of style of the stuff that's in the video. So I'm going to try adding a few more prompts here that were kind of the things I used in the video. So we're going to start with the metaverse again. And then we'll go like cyberpunk. And maybe futuristic. Maybe just like sci-fi. We'll see what that gets us. And then again, um, 16 by 9 aspect ratio. All right, so we've got our images here. That's who we got now. So obviously this one with the text, I don't really want to use that one. It's a cool image, though. I actually kind of like this one the most. Um, but I think I like uh, one of these two here, the, either the one with the girl standing over the balcony or the one with the kid down here. Um, I kind of like this one in the top right uh, just because of the colors. So let's go with that one. So we're going to, that's number two. So we're going to up res that one. Okay, so we got that image downloaded. Let's hop back over into Runway ML. And once again, we got to go and upload it into our assets folder. You can upload it from the Gen 1 page, or the Gen 2 page. I'm just doing it this way because when I was doing the video, I uploaded a whole bunch at once instead of doing them one at a time. And this way I can also sort them into folders. All right, so that's uploaded, took only a few seconds. Let's hop back over to the home page. This time we're gonna go to Gen 2, which is text and image to video. And now, so for this, you have a few options. I didn't really mess with this stuff too much, like remove the watermark, upscale, interpolate. Um, that's just whatever. Uh, for motion, I found Depending on what you want, generally a bit lower works better. So we're going to put the motion down to one. And then here you have a whole bunch of camera setting movements. So you can pan horizontally, you can, or sorry, you can move horizontally, you can pan left, pan right, you can do a roll, you can move vertically, you can tilt, you can do a zoom. There's so many options and it, it takes some tweaking to try to figure out the one that works best. So I think what we're going to do is we're just going to do a horizontal movement across the frame and sort of as though like the camera's behind the character and just kind of moving to reveal the city that they're looking at. So we're going to go full 10 on this one, because you, you can go between like 0 and 10. I'm just going to go full 10 to the entire uh, pan across. And then there's also this option for the motion brush, which I tried out a bit. You can kind of like use it certain areas to make motion more in certain areas. But for this stuff, I was just looking for general camera motion. I wasn't looking for any sort of very specific stuff. So let's go for this, see what we get. And with the image to video, unlike the video to video, um, it does four seconds at a time. So you can do four seconds. If you want it longer, you can add another four seconds. I don't know what the maximum length is. I've only ever did about four seconds because that's all I needed for the music video. So that's probably what I'll do for this one. Oh, maybe I'll do this one a bit longer, actually, since it's going to be for a promotional piece. Maybe we'll add another four seconds, and we'll try to get eight to 12 seconds out of this and see what we get. <laughs> so it does get kind of janky. As you can see, it sort of like mushes the character into nothing. Um, but I think I'm going to use this as a vertical video, so when I kind of crop it, the character might move out of the way and then we'll see more of the city. But as you can see, it's also kind of like mushing the city weird. And I've just realized there's actually an image to description setting here. So I'm going to give that a shot. And maybe we can like sort of maintain some of the city, tell it's a futuristic city instead of just sort of mushing everything into weird abstract imagery. So let's try just adding in a very simple prompt. <clears throat> Okay, so that's done generating. Let's uh, see what we got. 
Yeah, it actually seems to keep it a bit more consistent. I'm going to be using this for social media, so it might need to be a bit longer than four seconds. Let's see if we can get another four seconds out of this and what it gives us. Yeah, I can get behind this. It's kind of weird and janky, but you know what? For social media, I think it'll totally work. So let's go ahead and download that one. I find that, especially for these animated stills, when there, there's a few where in the video there's like a character sitting face onto camera and the camera pushes in. I think that one works quite well because it's a bit of a closer shot. Some of these wider shots and you have a lot of stuff that needs to stay consistent, it's kind of hard for it to do that. So you kind of just have to live with what you get sometimes. All right, thanks for joining me. I hope you found this interesting and informative and also a bit of a, not a fully deep dive, but a, a small dive into the world of AI video. And uh, it's going to be interesting to see what comes even in the next like five to six months. I'm sure I'll look back on what I've done for this metaverse video and be like, wow, I can do so much more now. That was so basic compared to what's even possible now because it's evolving so fast. Um, but yeah, if you like this video, please hit that like button. Hit subscribe. I'm totally interested in actually coming back and like doing another dive into this whole AI thing when it's like more advanced in the next year or so. So if you want to see that, let me know in the comments below. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next one. All right. Bye.